and at least one of his weight classes that he was the champ, uh, if not more. But he's a guy that is getting a... We knew the Lomachenk versus George's fight was going to be heated up. Do not miss this fight. Everyone had their prediction set. First of all, Lomachenko is one of the greatest fighters of all time. All what nobody expected was the outcome of the fight, which has left a lot of pros rethinking about their picks. <laughs> now this was not the first time that these two were facing each other. Well, this time they just showed us what he's made of. Devin Haney had already made some comments about who he believed would win having battled both men edging Lomachenko in a tight decision and twice dominating George, we had assumed that Haney possessed a unique insider's perspective on the fight itself. His clash with Lomachenko remains a source of debate. We'll fight Lomachenko next. Look, we won the majority of the fight. He had a couple good rounds, so I give him now, give him credit to that. But look, we knew what we were coming up against. This guy is a top 10 lightweight in the world. Um, I gave him, yeah, three. Despite Lomachenko landing significantly more punches, the judges awarded the win to Haney. This experience undoubtedly granted Haney a deep understanding of Lomachenko's technical prowess, his footwork, lightning-fast reflexes, and mastery of counterpunching. On the other hand, Haney is no stranger to George either. Their two encounters saw Haney exploit George's weaknesses, resulting in convincing victories. He's seen George's strengths, his relentless pressure and aggressive fighting style, but also identified areas where Lomachenko's superior skills could pose a serious threat. Given this unique vantage point, Haney's recent prediction held some good weight. He's a good fighter, Haney acknowledged of Lomachenko. I believe he's got what it takes to put him down, but the fight will be great. At first, it seemed that Haney recognized the threat Lomachenko posed. Even though Haney emerged victorious in their previous fight, he respects Lomachenko's talent and ability to overpower George. However, Haney didn't completely dismiss George's chances. He's a great fighter too, but I don't think he stands a chance, Haney said. This aligns with Haney's dominant victories over George. He knows firsthand George's toughness and fighting spirit, but he seemed to already believe his own skill set will prevail. Where he, he kind of just, just edge it, but no, it was, it was, it was not enough. I, I, I was the aggressor. I landed the cleaner shots. I heard him multiple times, and uh, look, it's a good, it's a good and after the win, he came back to add to his comments. Yeah, I knew he was going to be better this time. I could feel it. I told you all. All that tension doesn't matter in the ring. Now, we don't know if Devin should be taking his own words. But whatever happened in the ring was beautiful. But one of the most interesting voices in this entire fight has been that of Ryan Garcia. Boxing prodigy Ryan Garcia previously chimed in on the buzz that was surrounding the lightweight clash between Lomachenko and George. Taking a surprising turn from the usual predictions, Garcia offered his own ranking of the top contenders in the division. In an interview, Garcia seemed to be doing more than just simple predictions. Lomachenko takes the number one spot, he had said. This choice positioned Lomachenko ahead of established names like Devin Haney and Gervonta Davis, a move that caught many experts off guard. You know, everybody knows Ryan Garcia can be, uh, can, can, make only one shot it's right left it's left it's left hook that's it so i think garcia went a step further explaining his rationale it's a close call between devin and tank he said then there's george who put on a good fight but lomachenko sits at the top george would be number two with devin and tank in a toss-up both their recent performances were just okay now this ranking intrigued all of us because it strategically aligned garcia with lomachenko Garcia's past praise for Lomachenko's performance against Teofimo Lopez in 2020 seemed to shed light on his admiration. Lomachenko's movement is pure brilliance. He fights efficiently, never wasting energy. He flows beautifully with exceptional footwork and body positioning. It was an amazing performance, but he could have knocked out Kami. After the fight, Garcia came back in to add to his words. Shout out Kambosos, gave a hell of a fight, man. And let's be honest, George did seem pretty hurt by the ninth round. That eye seemed to get worse as the fight progressed. Even the commentators called it a mismatch, 
Well, since Teofimo Lopez came up, we can't ignore his impact on the whole image here. I wanted to see what Anton would do. I was curious. Now Anton Kadushin was the right-hand man of George as he was training for Loma. It was Anton that was training him. And when Teofimo said he was looking forward to what the trainer was going to do, well, we understand. But I doubted that even with a new trainer, we weren't going to see much difference. I really was curious about how George would tackle Loma's footwork. And all my gaps got filled. We saw a good fight, good footwork, good dance, and a good win. And to some point, we could all agree with Lopez. Loma's footwork was something we all waited to see. This comes as an interesting twist to things, especially coming from Lopez. It did seem that Teofimo Lopez, the fighter who famously dethroned the seemingly unbeatable Lomachenko in 2020 to claim the unified lightweight titles, emerged as a strong supporter of Lomachenko. Lopez didn't mince words and even predicted a dominant performance from the Ukrainian. Not only does he stop George, Lopez declared, he's going to make him look like an amateur that night. This statement carries significant weight considering George's recent upset victory over Lopez himself. Shakur Stevenson has also gotten into the picture. We all knew Loma was going to come in heavy. We knew he kept up a good fight. We saw the combinations. For a moment, I honestly thought he was going to go for a knockout. But that's a different Loma right there. But congrats to George for getting back in the ring after each round. Now, this wasn't the first time that Shakur Stevenson made a comment on this fight. However, Stevenson's approach to securing this fight has been far from conventional, leaving some in the boxing world scratching their heads. Instead of the usual pre-fight trash talk, Stevenson had taken a social media route, urging his fans to essentially do his legwork. He posted a message asking his followers, Somebody ask Loma if he will fight me after George? Further muddying the waters is the recent controversy surrounding Stevenson's last fight. A split decision victory over Edwin De Los Santos raised eyebrows, with many believing De Los Santos deserved the win. Critics even argued that a rematch with De Los Santos would be the more logical next step, suggesting Stevenson should show some pride and clear his name before chasing bigger names. But why Lomachenko? Well, according to Stevenson, it's a test of skill and reputation. He takes a jab at Lomachenko's counterpunching style, implying the Ukrainian avoids safety first fighters. And all of us, even George, appreciate Loma's fighting style. Where he, he kind of just, just edge it, but no, it was, it was, it was not enough. I, I, I was the aggressor. I landed the cleaner shots. I heard him multiple times, and uh, look, it's a good, it's a good win against a very cagey experience. Stevenson, known for his aggressive footwork and flashy offense, believes he presents a unique challenge Lomachenko might be reluctant to accept. He further throws shade by suggesting Lomachenko prioritizes money fights against popular fighters implying he himself doesn't fit the bill. This paints a picture of a young, hungry champion trying to earn respect against a decorated veteran who might be more interested in lucrative matchups. Stevenson's confidence extends to Lomachenko's fight with George Jr. He had boldly predicted Lomachenko's defeat, showcasing his belief in both his own abilities and his potential future opponent. But upon the new performance, we saw today. Shakur seemed a little, well, he basically seemed to take back his words. I never called anyone weak. We saw Loma very well in the ring. He was applying pressure. He was moving around that footwork, man. That was good. He should now come face me. Now? The dust had barely settled on the epic, lightweight clash between Vasily Lomachenko and George Jr. before the boxing world was buzzing with the next potential showdown. We all liked the 11th round. It's where most of the action was, leading to the win. In a dominant display, Lomachenko silenced the doubters with a spectacular knockout victory in the 11th round, reclaiming his place among the elite of the division. <laughs> One fighter, however, seemed unshaken by Lomachenko's resurgence. Dravanta Tank Davis commented on the live fight with a message that has all our attention now. Loma is after Frank. He's after Frank Martin. But let me get to Frank Martin first. Now we all know what Tank is trying to do here. Well, 
There is Lomachenko's apparent desire to face Frank Martin, the current IBF lightweight champion. Lomachenko's knockout victory over George effectively unified the WBC and WBO titles, leaving only the IBF belt to complete his lightweight championship collection. However, Davis's message hinted at a potential roadblock in Lomachenko's quest for undisputed glory. Davis himself has expressed interest in facing Martin and will. Now all of us are wondering, would Davis prioritize the undisputed fight against Lomachenko, or would he focus on securing his own undisputed crown by facing Martin first? Further complicating the situation is the tension between Davis and Ryan Garcia. The two young stars have been locked in a war of words for months, with another potential fight between them remaining a highly anticipated prospect. Well, we can be sure of one thing though, Loma winning has some pretty interesting possibilities yet to be revealed. With a new trainer by his side, he seems more fired up. We saw a display of Loma we didn't see with Devin, and we can't even imagine how he will be in the next fight. But let's hope the skill we just witnessed today doesn't fade. What are your thoughts on this? Share them below and don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button for more interesting updates. See you in the next one.